The Health and Social Care Act was passed in March 2012. The aim is to replace the NHS with an insurance-based US-style system. Government duty to provide universal health care has been scrapped. Clinical commissioning groups have been set up and forced to tender all NHS services. Private companies can now run any NHS service. 49% of our NHS resources can be used to treat private patients creating one queue for the rich and one for the poor. The act was fiercely opposed by the medical profession and NHS workers. They knew what the act would lead to. A risk assessment commissioned by the government and leaked to the press warned we might lose our comprehensive service, that the act would lead to widening health inequalities, reduction in quality of care and increased costs. But you can't read that because the government defied a court order under the Freedom of Information Act and refused to publish it. Despite these warnings, the act was voted into law. The changes that it forced through have cost billions, money that has been diverted from patient care. Medical staff have been made redundant and the remainder have had their wages frozen. Services are being broken up, making it harder for medical professionals to share resources and work together but easier for private companies to pick off profitable services, leaving the unprofitable ones to wither. Hospitals are being starved of funds, run down and closed, or handed over to private companies. Communities have been fighting back. Lewisham took the government to court to save their hospital and won. So the government changed the law All over the UK, people are standing together for the founding principles of the NHS. They are making a difference. Although private healthcare providers now earn more than a quarter of their income from the NHS, they say the pace of privatisation has proved disappointing. Our NHS is the fairest, most cost-effective and cost-efficient healthcare system in the world. Because it was created for need, not profit. For patients, not shareholders.